Okay, knowledge. Let's go do get book smarts. That's a lot of books, holy fuck. And a giant painting. Okay. So what are we doing here? We're doing one of those book puzzles? Uh, no, okay. I hope not. There's a lot of books here. Is there going to be like one book I need to find amongst all of these shelves? Because there's a lot of books here. Okay, I see like nothing. Oh, oh, never mind. Found a key. Boop. Okay, found a key for a chest. Where is the chest? Is there anything else in these shelves that I might miss? Because I am a blind person. Where is this chest? Oh. Book of Horror Study is on the table. Okay. Boop. Horror Story. The Thing in the Woods. Once upon a time, in a small, quiet village, could be found a small, quiet people. Oh, whatever. The people weren't small in stature, but in demeanor. The very few times anyone would happen into the village, either passing through or perhaps to trade, they would always note the same things about the villagers. They kept to themselves, spoke in short, timid sentences. But above all, people noted that they seemed kind. They welcomed outsiders under one condition. Do not go into the woods. Most people wrote it off as a local superstition. This was until one day when a young man came into the village. He was charismatic. He was a charismatic man that everyone took to. Unfortunately, he was also very brash and ignored the warnings about the forest. He entered the place against the warnings of the local's blacksmith, the oldest man in the village and also the only one old enough to remember what happened the last time someone went, entered those evil woods. He told the young man that an evil lurked deep inside in the woods that would possess and corrupt even the kindest soul, turning him against his fellow man. The boy laughed it off and left to see what wonders the forest may hold. He did not return for three nights, during which the blacksmith barricaded the door from the inside and urged the townsfolk to do the same. Unfortunately, time had faded hard facts into, pre into passing knowledge, and then into whispered rumors, and finally into half-believed superstitions. The, town uh, the townsfolk worried about the young man, but partially out of fear, and mostly out of disbelief in their own superstition. They ignored the smith's warning. Oh, uh, whatever, I don't know. The third night came. With it, evil. The blacksmith stayed in the workshop, barricaded and terrified, and listened for something entered the quiet village and slaughtered everyone within. Then there came a banging at his door, though he knew it would take more than a man or even beast to break down the door. He was still afraid. Until daybreak, he finally came and with it the banging stopped. The unfortunate young man, possessed by a great evil, had left the village. However, they say that if you go to that village at night and, night and listen closely, you can still hear him searching for that final victim, screaming madly, Where's the blacksmith? Wow. <laughs> okay. That just made me think of something. Don't worry about it. It's funny. I don't need to tell you why. Where the hell's that chest? Okay. Is it behind this door? Does this key for some reason go to the door? Nope. Okay. Where the hell is this chest? Where's the chest? Is it behind the painting? No. Where the hell is the chest? Is it also on these shelves? Probably. Or maybe it's in the back. Ooh, oil. Sweet. Let's open this chest. Oh. Oh. There's more keys. I need three more keys. Or four more keys. I'm not really sure. Holy shit. Well, time to start searching. Ugh. God. I hope I'm not gonna have to be pulling books off the goddamn shelves for this. I will. I will tear down these these freaking shelves, man. That better not be a thing up there. Good. Just glow. 
Was that a key? Was that a key? No? Okay. Oh, God. This is gonna take a while. Okay, no keys here. Yeah, no keys? No keys. Unless there's in stupid place behind the books, which I would be very mad at. Because that's gonna require me to go through it. Oh, is there something under here? No? Okay. Hopefully there's nothing on top of the shelves, because that would also be a dick move. Well, there's something on top of this fucking painting. So fantastic. That pretty much guarantees that they're going to be located in stupid ass spots. Let me grab the goddamn key. Come on. Grab the key. Fantastic. Oh my god. Let's see. Can I see anything on top of these shelves? No? Okay. Uh oh. Hopefully they're at least kind enough not to put them behind these things. Because I'll be very mad. Okay. I do not see anything behind those. So do not have to worry about that. What about in between the shelves? Because they have put these keys in pretty stupid spots. I feel like I'm going to have to actually tear, tear down books. It's going to be annoying. Anything? No? Okay. This is going to be an agonizing search. I can feel it. In my bones. Uh, oh, you know what would be a dick move if I had to actually put the keys in first before the next one showed up? That would be a dick move. It would be wonderful to know beforehand. I don't see any keys. I'm not seeing keys. Nope. Don't see keys. They're... That must mean they're hidden in stupid locations that I am not smart enough to find. How about under this pot? No? How about inside this pot? Good. Be very mad if I had to uh, found one. Okay. Well, that's two keys. Wonder where the last one is. Not up there. Was it? No? Where is it? Where's the key? Where is this last key? Or maybe not the last key. I don't know. Let's see. What's it say when I try to lift this thing? Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming I do need just one more key then. Okay, where the fuck is it? Okay, this will not be enjoyable. I do not like the fact that I'm going to have to find these keys. Was there any point to that story? Was it just there? Was it there just for me to read? It was a nice story, at least. I don't like having to look for this key. Maybe there is something unordinary about some of these bookcases that will be a bigger hint. Like the fact that this one has like literally nothing on it. Is there something behind it? I think there's something behind it. If I pull all the... That sounded weird. If I pull everything off it, will it open? Yeah, give me a chair. Give me. Nope, okay. I guess this is something I'm gonna have to deal with after I open the thing. What in the. Uh, I was like, this, I can't. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not on that bookcase, which is a damn shame. Where, where, oh, where could the last key be? Where, oh, where? 
I am I sure it's not in between or under a bookcase? Is there something behind these bookcases do? No? Okay. Well, I don't see it. Therefore, it must not exist. I may have to look this one up if I give up. Anything on the seal? No. Maybe it does have something to do with this. I don't know. Chair, come with me. Better not be placed on top of one of these. It's a pretty decent possibility. Possibility I do not enjoy, personally. Nope, okay. Well, I do not have a clue. At all. Like, the key's locations aren't even hinted at. Which is fantastic, by the way. Not really. How about up here? Oop. Nope. Okay. Nothing up there. One last bookshelf to check if it's on top. Nope. Not up here. Okay, let's go check if perhaps it's on top of these bookshelves. I not see it. I don't know where the key is. It is clearly not in any obvious spots. Whoop, okay. My chair fell over. My chair is drunk. Okay, well, nothing up there. Guess the only thing left to do is tear these bookshelves apart. The last thing I want to do... Okay, I give up. I'm gonna go, uh, look it up. I'll be right back. I swear to God. I fucking... God damn it, man. Seriously. This custom story really likes to place keys in the most ridiculous spots. Like, seriously, the fuck is this? Give me that goddamn key. I already looked at the curtains. I didn't think it was going to be literally inside the freaking curtain like that. I would have expected, like, it be underneath the goddamn thing. Okay, what the hell are these? Amongst the pile of seemingly meaningless rubble, you come across a line. Shield, shield, bird, shield, bird, bird. That probably has something to do with the emblems on the side. Boop. A strange experience. On the inside of the cover... Inside cover of this journal, it says, Journal of Private Vincent M. Sanders. Heh, <laughs> my friend's got a last name that says Sanders. Whatever. A, partic a particular entry catches your eye. I've had the strangest experience. We stopped off the small village to resupply before heading out this morning. The locals were surprisingly friendly. After dinner, we were invited to what I can only assume was a party of some sort. Most of the men declined, saying that a typical macho shit designed to hide how scared they were to try new things. During the party, a pipe was passed around. Oh, must be full of drugs. I didn't find out till later it contained a local plant called Hima Hachim uh, Hachimara, whatever. Hachimara, yeah. One of the soldiers that came with me speaks the local dialect, from which he could gather the plant contains properties that allow a person to transcend their physical form and travel through the planet between life and death. Plane, plane, whatever. Hey, whatever they... Uh, is that what was inside the wine? Is that why I'm here? Hachimara just decided to take me to the plane of life and death? I don't want to be here. Fuck that plant. Hey, whatever they want to believe is fine with me. All I know is that it gave me one hell of a trip. It wasn't far. It wasn't for the damn bag inspection the sergeant does every morning. I take some home with me. Hell, I might risk it anyways. 
Okay, well, um, okay, how do I do this? Oh. Okay, so what was it? Shield, shield, bird, shield, bird, bird. Sounds like something on the other side of the library just moved. I bet it was the bookcase. Indeed, it was the bookcase. Okay, so... That oh, looks friendly. What the fuck is going on in here? I don't want to step in that. I ain't stepping in that. I don't want to. No. No. Eh, come on. Okay, what we got here? Skulls, legs, other people parts, more books on the shelf. Hopefully I don't have to tear those down. I guess I can say at least it wasn't behind a fucking book of all, all those things I had to tear down. So I technically tore them down for literally no reason, but whatever. Page found in the library's hidden room. Thank you for that title. This page seems to have been ripped out from a journal you read, found earlier. It's been 24 years since she was taken from me. I would be lying if I said I didn't try to move on. I would be lying if I said I'd re I ever really thought I could. I don't know how hard it is for other people. I can only ve venture a guess at the level of... Eh, words. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really fucked up right now. <laughs> okay. I don't even care. Bereavement? What the hell is bereavement? I don't even know what that means. The average person may feel. Whatever. It's probably an emotion. Whatever. For myself, however, something else hangs over me like an anchor holding down any chance I may have ex of escaping this depression. The Hachimara plant. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that is definitely what was inside the wine. I mean, he keeps bringing it up, so... Yeah. Fuck. I managed to convince myself all these years that what I experienced that night was nothing more than a mass hallucination brought of, on by the local drug. And that the store tradition the locals claimed to have carried out for an inordinate amount of time, years, whatever. An amount that m made no get sense given modern texts on history or the region, whatever. We're nothing more than the, 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 the driveling folklore of a backwards community. The more I think back, the more I want to believe. I have uh, charted a flight to that region. I will gather as much of the plant as I can. It shouldn't be difficult as the stuff grows all over the region like wildfire. Once I have returned, I can begin working on extracting the plant to a more concentrated form. Why would you want to do that? That sounds like a terrible idea. I hold the tickets in one hand as I write this. For the first time since I made my decision, I find myself questioning my sanity. Yes, you really shouldn't be concentrating that stuff. I mean, holy shit. That sounds like a terrible idea. Since I made my decision, I found myself questioning my sanity. Perhaps I am mad. A lu lu uh, lunatic is so grief-stricken that he is willing to do anything to be reunited with the ones with a loved one. I will leave the psychiatric f evaluation to whomer, whoever may date uh, someday discover my journal, probably along with my twitching, drooling body. Well then, okay, so we planned to, yeah, he planned for it to be really, really bad. Besides, what else do I have to lose? Anna was stolen from me, and I abandoned my son years ago in a fit of selfish rage. Any time I ever thought of trying to track him down, I've only managed to remind myself of how unfit I would be as a father. The handwriting on the rest of the page seems jagged and rushed. I made my mind up. The alcohol helps in that regard. I'll leave tomorrow. It's raining again. Fantastic key. Desk key. Well, hopefully there's nothing terrifying inside this desk. Okay, memory fragment. Fantastic. Isn't this the part where I leave? This is normally the part where I do not be here anymore, right? I should have been teleported away, right? Why am I here? Oh... Oh 
fucking yeah yeah okay okay I can see why I didn't leave yet okay so the plan turned out to be legit yes and succeeded in taking me the other side as I intended so then that's what I drank wait why are we being attacked if there's just this afterlife are we in hell no plays much worse that plant was never meant for this we are in okay I don't want to be here anymore. We're going, we don't need eyes to see. I don't like this place. I believe I'm starting to piece together what happened here. You used a mystical plant to still to be more concentrated, killed you, whatever, I don't care. I dreamed that much horror that lurked in this void. I cannot read the rest of it because it went by really quickly. Well... I can see things are taking a really bad turn.